Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, I'm bringing you my signature tips and tricks to help you start winning more often and having a lot more fun while you're doing it. Uh, speaking of having a lot more fun, I have been having a lot more fun lately because I've been playing the all new Forge Test playlist. This playlist is fantastic. If you guys have strayed from Halo 4, gotten into other games, come on back because this playlist is just absolutely rejuvenating all things that are good about Halo. Uh, basically what we have here is several forged maps which uh, are being tested for playability and those which have high playability are going to be integrated into uh, you know the traditional playlist. And these uh, are some fantastic maps uh, created in the Forge community. Uh, for the most part they're very small maps, uh, very well balanced, very well designed and very much more reminiscent of some of the older uh, Halo game types from Halo Reach and Halo 3. Uh, it just feels like the playability is absolutely terrific on these maps, and it's completely rejuvenated my interest in the game. Uh, really having a lot of fun. So this map in particular is called Scythe, and I have a great game. Uh, I start the game off with a Killing Frenzy, which I think starts right here. 10 kills in a row without devs and uh, end up with I think 23 kills and 6 deaths or something in that neighborhood so a strong game. Uh, I'm using Promethean Vision as well as the uh, Battle Rifle for my primary loadouts and here I've grabbed the sniper. I'm going to get a couple sniper shots uh, one of which is really an excellent sliding headshot so keep an eye out for that in about 10 seconds here. Right through the window using Promethean Vision spot this other sniper at the back and uh, take him down with a headshot. Gonna get a clean up body shot down below here. Uh, so going to work with the sniper rifle and as you uh, watch the video, take a look at all the different uh, areas in this map. They all have different colors. So there's like a yellow area, a blue area, a red area, green. You can kind of see the trim here and this area is blue. I'm using Promethean Vision throughout which distorts the color but when I'm not in Promethean Vision you can see all the different colors. Now here there's a two, uh, two player situation, uh, I'm able to take them both down with some very excellent grenade placement. That second frag grenade gets me a double kill and I've really noticed that the frag grenades are the way to go on this map. Just because there's some really uh, fantastic angles for bouncing grenades off the, the walls and the, the floor and even the ceiling in some areas. Those grenades just kind of bounce around and uh, if you're going to go onto this map make sure that you have at least one loadout with frag grenades. Uh, here I get a double body shot in that camo player for the sniper kill. Uh, just continuing to rack up some points, doing very well here. Um, out DMR this guy across the map with my buddy Sony. Let him have the rail gun. I'm going to grab my saw from the ordnance. And the saw, I've been using a burst shooting method with this weapon, which has proved to be very effective. I get super lucky there and miss that plasma cannon uh, by the skin of my teeth and live to fight another day uh, but this saw has been just really effective using the burst shooting method and you're not going to see that right here because unfortunately I'm going to get killed before I'm able to demonstrate that burst shooting but in a few moments I'm going to get a hold my hands on another saw and demonstrate that method so keep your eyes out for that. Now what happens here is I get in a one-on-one -on -one situation my shields are halfway down the opponent knows where I am he anticipates my movements I should have waited for my shields to come all the way back up do not hesitate to fall back when you need to, especially if your shields are more than halfway down, especially if your opponents know where you are. Fall on back, let your shields come back to full strength before you go back out and expose yourself. Uh, go back into work here. I do get revenge on that player, however, a uh, long range uh, grenade launcher takes me down. Now, uh, what happens in this particular instance is, uh, let's see, who is it? Stay Foku has an extra weapon. He's got a rail gun that he doesn't need, and so he's going to. He was calling out at this point, uh, asking whether anybody needed a power weapon, and I told him, uh, "Yeah, I'd be happy to take one." And so, in just a moment, he's going to drop down a rail gun that he was not using, and I'm going to be able to grab that from him. That's an excellent use of teamwork. You'll see that in just a moment. Uh, in this case, there's a sniper in the other corner. I figure if I poke my head out one too many times, I'm going to get shot in the head. So I decided I'm going to fall back and take a different approach, come swing around uh, a different direction. So here comes uh, Stay Foku. He's going to share his rail gun with me. And this is just excellent use of teamwork. If you have that extra ordnance, you're not using it. Somebody else could put it to good use. 
uh, you know, go ahead and share that with your teammates. Communicate through your headset. Let them know, uh, you know, you have that extra power weapon and share that with them. Because if you hold on to it, you're not going to accrue any additional ordnance uh, during that time period. So you might as well put it to good use if you can. And you can see here, my next kill is going to be a railgun kill. I may not have got a kill here without the railgun. So that, that teamwork can really make a big difference. Again, you can see the value of Promethean Vision on this map in particular, where you have all these tight corridors, all these, uh, you know, lines of sight which are cut off, all these uh, hard corners and so forth. The Promethean Vision really comes in handy. This is just an, uh, an ideal map for that Promethean Vision. While I'm talking about loadouts, the Battle Rifle is uh, becoming quickly becoming one of my favorite weapons. Um, the battle rifle I've noticed is just really uh, outworks the DMR in close to mid-range situations. Anytime I've come up in a one-on-one -on -one situation where one player has the DMR and the other player has the battle rifle, let me get to that in a second. I want to de uh, point out I'm using the burst shooting here with the saw, which is very effective. In that case, I got an assist, but in just a few moments, I'm going to get a kill at really quite quite a long range. And when you use the burst shooting method with the saw, the reticule stays very, very tight. And your accuracy at long range is really excellent. Look at the range here on this saw kill. Uh, really excellent range. I take him down very quickly, much more quickly even than a DMR at that range. So make sure you're using a burst shooting method with any automatic weapons that you grab. But when it comes to the battle rifle, I really have found that it outperforms the DMR in close to mid-range situations. So like I was saying earlier, when I get into a one-on-one -on -one situation with a player, it seems like whoever's got that, that battle rifle comes out on top like 80-90% of the time. Now in most of the traditional Halo 4 maps, a lot of them are large maps where you need that pinpoint accuracy at really long range. You know, maps come to mind like Complex, uh, where you just have really absurd long range. Sometimes on uh, Haven it's the same way. But on a close map like this where you end up with a lot of close quarter uh, shootouts, that battle rifle seems to be much more powerful, much more effective and efficient. So keep that in mind. Uh, consider when you play on the map side, uh, I really like Promethean Vision, I really like the battle rifle, and I really like frag grenades. It's a few things to keep in mind. Also, whenever I'm using Promethean Vision, uh, armor ability efficiency, AA efficiency, is one of my primary loadouts as well. I use that frequently with a lot of my different armor abilities but especially those which you use frequently like Promethean Vision or Active Camouflage. Now in this case uh, doing a little bit of teamwork with Sony some team shooting here uh, he's got a two-on-one situation I couldn't quite get out there and save him quite in time but I do get a headshot uh, before being taken down myself. So what happens right here is this player up above me has a significant height advantage so I decide I'm gonna fall back and live to fight another day you always want to look for opportunities where you have an advantage over your opponent, and in that case, I was at a disadvantage. Um, on this map, and really in all maps, uh, really having the a height advantage means it's much easier to get headshots on your opponents. If you're down below, it's much more difficult to get headshots. Um, it's much easier to fall back if you have a height advantage, uh, much more difficult to fall back if you're down below. In this case, you can see I'm basically stuck like a rat in a trap. There's three players on my radar. Uh, I try to fall back to the corner here. I do get one kill, but I'm still triple teamed. So I'm just lobbing grenades and praying, uh, screaming to my teammates, please come help me out. They actually come to my assistance very quickly. I'm able to get several assists to wrap up the game and uh, really have a solid outing here. Thanks a lot in part to my teammates. The last thing I wanted to point out is that this map is ideal for using callouts, even for the least experienced players because all the rooms have colors which are easily identifiable and you can easily call out red one for the ground floor in the red room, red two for the second floor in the red room, so on and so forth. You can say yellow one, yellow two, green one, green two, so on and so forth. So make sure to use those call outs uh, to give your teammates a little bit of help even if they're not using their microphones. No excuse for you not to do so. I want to thank you all for watching. Please uh, comment, let me know how you like the show. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Add the video to your favorites. This is Halo4Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.